Hey, Myron, the garage store guy with your tip of the day. So I've done videos about this before, but if you have a swimming pool, keep your pool chemicals out of the garage because what it's going to do is rust and oxidate the hinges, the rollers, it's going to make it squeak and crack all the time. You might have to spray and lubricate it more. So you see how close their pool is. I want you to hear how the door sounded. And that's after I put the nylon rollers in the garage door. So, you have a swimming pool. This is your back bearing right here. In between the drum, there's a bearing. Spray your bearings, the upper and lower part of the hinges. You see at the bottom. They have a big gap, they had a rodent problem, so they're going to order the T-seal from online, and then I'll come back and put that on as soon as they get that in at their house. So right here, your spring, spray this back bearing if it's a single spring, straight across, straight across the elbows. If you hear somebody's garage door and it sounds like a cat stuck in the garage, that's because it's the lack of lubrication. I try to spray my garage door every three months. March, June, September, and December. Spray your inside bearing, spray your outside bearing. Try not to use WD-40. WD-40 is water displacement, sucks the moisture out. Uh, besides that, I try to use a three-in-one garage door spray. Blaster has a good one. Stay under $8 for the can. Some of these online sites are charging $36, $38 for this can, where it was seven, eight dollars before, so. I just get this one from my supplier when I buy a job, but I'm not paying $36 for a can of spray. All right, so that's your tip of the day from Myron the Garage Door Guy. Keep your pool chemicals out the garage, spray and lubricate your garage door. That's your preventative maintenance tip.